everyone so now let's do one lab for the bgp because some of our student is having some confusion so let me do this one so they can understand see here what is the topology here let me start first of all the router okay let me start first of all the router r1 and r2 imagine you have two router okay so see here this is a r1 this is a r2 and r1 is in as number one if you know bgp you know as okay so this is a as number one and i have another router this is a r2 and as is two so here this side we have 192 1.1 and this side r2 is having 192 1.2 .1. if you are thinking in the real scenario take this public ip okay take this public ip imagine this is your head office and this is your branch office you connected with the what we can say with the bgp or if you want let's take the scenario imagine this is your head office and this is the isp okay this is the isp something like this you can take anything but for lab purpose i taken the private ip so i am taking here 192 168 1.1 here 192 168 1.2 and this side is as is 1 this side is as is 2 and we have here one network 1.1.1.1 1 .1 1 .1 slash 8 okay so what i will do here i will create one loopback 0 and i will assign the ip this 1.1.1 .1 .1 to loopback 0 so now what is our aim in this lab we will configure the bgp okay we are going to configure the bgp if you see as is 1 here as is 2 here so we need to configure ebgp okay because both are having different as i hope you remember that we have the ebgp ibgp IG, ibgp is nothing but interior border gateway uh, protocol ebgp is exterior border gateway protocol i hope you remember this one in our cca np we discussed this one maybe not in youtube but in our paid batch we already have the videos so many videos about that one exterior border gateway protocol interior border gateway protocol ebgp ibgp so just uh, in simple i will say if you have here is as different here is a different as is different here as is one here as is two both are not same as so we can say ebgp ebgp we need to configure ebgp okay and ebgp ttl value will be ttl value will be one okay you need to remember and ad value administrative distance will be 20 and what is the full form of ebgp exterior border gateway protocol remember this one okay so now what i will do first of all i will configure the bgp i will make the neighborship from here same thing here and in the ebgp i will advertise in the bgp i will advertise this network so this route we are going to get here okay in this router after that i am going to configure the static route from here to here for this network i will configure the static route so bgp route will remove from this r1 and you will have the static route why because if you remember ad value will be different for the static route and ad value will be different for the bgp whoever is having the low ad value that route will remain in the routing table other route will be removed as we already know this one so we are going to compare and we are going to test this one because some guys are having confusion so let's verify so let me go here let me take open the router r1 okay let me open the r1 first of all let me lock the lab so our router will not move from one place to another place now i will open the r1 and then r2 this is my r1 i will write no and i will press let me open the r2 also this is the r2 console and i will write first time no and then let me go to the r1 console we will do the configuration configuration is simple i hope you already know assigning the ip address to the interface how we will assign already we discussed this okay anyhow first of all let me change the host name i will go in the global configuration mode to change the host name and now this is the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 okay so i am going in the interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 ip address uh, let me write here 192.168.1.1 255.255.255.0 and i will write no shut here okay just i assign the ip 
and what else I can do? I have only one IP, so I assign one IP. Let me do the BGP configuration. If you want to run the BGP, you will write router. If you remember, router BGP, same thing as we do before. Router BGP, and what is the AS? Our AS is one. So router BGP AS number one. Then we need to neighbor. Who is our neighbor? This is a neighbor, 192.168.1.2. So I will write neighbor 192.168.1.2. And after that remote AS. What is a remote AS? If you remember remote AS is nothing but our neighbor AS. That is a 2. So I will write remote AS is 2. That's all. What I make I done the neighborship with this one. Same thing we need to do for R2. So let me go in the R2. This is R2. Let me go here. And here what I will do I will write enable config T. And I will go here host name R2. And then I will write here interface fast Ethernet 0 by 0. First I will assign the IP, okay? 192.168.1.2, 255.255.255.0. Then I will write no shut. After that I will create one loopback 0 because I need to assign the IP 1.1.1. So 1.1. Let me move 1.1. 255.0.0.0. Okay? Some issue, let me write again IP address 1.1.1.1255.0.0.0. Okay, so now it is okay. Let's see, show IP interface brief. So if you see, we have this interface. Now we need to configure BGP and we need to advertise this 1.1.1 in the BGP. So let me go in the global configuration mode. I will write router BGP AS is 2. Our AS is 2 here. Router BGP. Uh, AS is 2 then we need to make as a neighbor who is neighbor I am here my neighbor is this one this guy is my neighbor so I will write 192.168.1.1 and then remote remote AS is 1 because this remote AS means the neighbor AS is 1 so I will write here after that I need to advertise so I will write network and what network I need to advertise 1.0.0. Let me sh cut this okay what network I need to advertise 1.0.0.0 and then we need to write 255 mass we need to write okay that is subnet mass so I will write mass 255.0.0.0 okay so this 1.0.0.0 mass 255.0.0.0 this way I advertise this network in the BGP so this guy is going to get the root 1.1.1 through BGP let's see now I will go here what is going to get the root 1.1.1 through BGP let's see now I will go here BGP come up if you want to check here you can write show IP root so if you see I am getting the root from the BGP okay this root I am getting from the BGP 1.0.0.0 slash 8 and AD value is 20 here okay this BGP root is coming here but our student is asking that if we have the static root here which one is prefer static is prefer because he is having the low AD value but anyhow let me root do and show you whenever you want to do a static root you need to write IP root and then write the whatever the network if you see here this is a network this one so we need to write the network ID so we will write 1.0.1.0.0.0.0 and then subnet mass 255.0.0.0 then next hop this is the next hop so we will write 192.168.1.2 okay i advertise here what i done i put the static root now we can check what how we will check we will write here show ip root show ip root if you see before we have bgp root but now that is removed why it is removed because the ad value of the bgp root is 20 the static is having one that's why BGP root remove we have the static value okay let me show you here see here in this one here when I check the root I am getting the BGP 1.0.0. network that is 1. Dot network I am getting from the BGP B is nothing but BGP if you see here here in this one if you see this is a B B is nothing but BGP B I am getting that is means BGP this network I am getting from BGP this is a AD value is 20 but here if you see AD value is 1 that's why they removed BGP remove from the routing table you have only static root so this is a question from our student if you have the static root and the BGP configuration which routing protocol is going to prefer 
so static routing is going to prefer because static routing is having the low ad value example if i remove static routing then you will have again bgp how i will remove i will write ip first of all let me write no ip root then i will write 1.0.0.0 .0 .0 .0. okay 0.0.0, .0, .0 then 255.0.0.0 and then 192.168.1.2 so with this command i remove the static root when i remove the static root you will have the bgp let me show you if you see i remove the static root so bgp again came back when i put the static root bgp will not there if you see bgp is having 20 if i put again the static root bgp will remove ip root 1.0.0.0, 255.0.0.0, space 192.168.1.2. And if you see here, show IP root, BGP is removed. So what we can say, with this one we can say, when you configure the BGP and when you configure the static root, static root is going to prefer because it is having the low AD value. Okay, static root is going to prefer. I hope this is clear for my student who is asking this one. If you have any question, any doubt, let me know. We are going to explain you in detail. Okay, thank you. See you. Bye.